you should look at that. It's another game in the KV2. There's something about this tank that keeps making me want to go back and play it. And I think part of that reason is people's general unwillingness in this game to be aggressive and commit. And that makes it even better when you're playing a KV2 because your gun reloads every 20 seconds. If the other team, you know, did something like rush at you while you were reloading, there'd be nothing you can do in the KV2 would be useless. But most of the time, people opt to fight this tank. Again, like the ninjas in the martial arts film. There's, there's 20 of you, there's one of the, the good guy. Just just go for him. You, you don't have to queue up and politely fight one at a time. And I think I've actually got a reasonably good win rate in the game too. It's not, certainly not because I'm actually any good at it. I think it's honestly still at the point where people, the people I'm playing against are afraid to commit to taking them out. I want to sort of say like people in the game look because people get upset when they get derped and I guess that's fair but you want to say look it when you hear the turp can go off and you hear the kaboom and, you're, and if you're still alive come and kill me this this turret turns really slowly it's paper thin armor it's it's an it's an easy kill if you just commit but no people love to let me in this tank choose the terms of engagement which seems like a really stupid idea. Don't don't let me dictate the pace of at which we fight because I'll just do this. Take a shot, do a chunk of damage, I'll back up. And I'll wait 18 seconds and I'll come out and do it again. I'll just keep doing it over and over and over until there's nothing left. <coughs> Like this guy. Like if he, if, if he came forward and tried to do that 15 seconds ago, he would have probably been tracked and could have done huge amounts of damage. I could have, I could have been dead, but nope. Fights me ninja song. Now one of the other things I've realised about having fun with all these things are understand it is is understandable now. I'm not very good at knowing I'm not very good at knowing where I'm supposed to be in any given game. And I've looked at like a couple of websites that sort of offer breakdowns of the map and strategies to use. But one of my, my friend that I played a lot of tanks with usually turns to me and says, hey, where am I supposed to go? And the problem is this, I don't... I don't know. I, I simply don't know where he should go, especially because he likes playing tank destroyers, which kind of is fire support rather than the Whereas, because I like playing tanks that get up close and personal, it's easier for me because I don't know where, 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 where I need to go. I can sort of hunt them down and find them. But anyway, basically, as long as people continue to not punish me for playing with KV2, I'm going to carry on playing it. And occasionally I have games where I don't think I do a very good job of noticing when I fire and going to stop me. But most of the time, they are games like this where I get to choose the terms of the engagement and that's it. Okay, I don't think I really carry the game or anything, but I'd like to think I played a part. So thank you, KV2.